Welcome in everybody to the TPT podcast. Today we're going to be going over what's going to happen in Arizona Chiefs Cardinals for this upcoming preseason game. Welcome in everybody to another episode of the TPT podcast. The podcast, the TPT podcast. Well, folks, welcome into a Friday edition of the TPT Podcast. I'm your host, Jaden Lawler. Uh, It's good to be back for season two of the TPT Podcast. And um, as I was sitting here, I was watching the uh, franchise. It's a series that the Kansas City Chiefs do on YouTube. They actually do a really good job. It's a 65 uh, production. I think that's the Chiefs uh, uh, production company that does their – their videos and they do a really good job of going to inside look of the chiefs they they kind of do like a hard knocks type thing they do it for the whole season they've done it since i think 2019 or 2020 um so it's really good inside to see what's going on for the kansas city chiefs and some of the things i noticed just watching this as uh, we start off the podcast and something i want to talk about um is some of the receivers and how they're really come along and how you can kind of see where some receivers are going to be this season. The number one guy I've talked about on this podcast who I can see really being the leader and the number one receiver on this team, I don't know if he'll be a 1,000-yard receiver, but I do think he can get close to a 1,000 yards. That will be MVS. I think MVS, if he can be just a little bit more consistent this season, he will be the number one receiver uh, for the Kansas City Chiefs. I think he's going to do a good job for the Chiefs. Uh, He was at deep throughout last year. He's also a bigger receiver, too, uh, 6'3", 6'4", so he can go up and get the balls. Richie James, I noticed, too, um, when I uh, I watch these kind of behind-the-scenes look for the Chiefs, is he's getting a lot of looks, too. Um, I think this is the deepest uh, the Chiefs wide receiver room has ever been. Um, And then I think you just have guys that are going to be your playmakers. Your one guy who's just going to be a great slot guy, I think, is going to be Sky Moore. That's going to be your slot guy. Really good hands. A young guy still developing. Um, I think Richie James is also going to be a guy where he can be your downfield threat um, as well as kind of a gadget guy. Same with Kadarius Tony. I think Kadarius Tony is another guy. Um, as long as he can be healthy, is going to be a really good gadget guy. Um, and those are just some of the things I've noticed um, watching these franchises, watching some of these things is what guys are starting to stick out now and what guys aren't. Um, and I think it's going to be a big uh, year for um, Richie James. I mean, he was on the Giants last year who had I think he had 600 uh, something yards on the Giants who are not a passing team. He's coming over to the Chiefs where that's going to be a passing team. So I think he could have seven, 800 yards this season. And you have other guys that can rise to the occasion. We can't forget about these some of these other guys too, like Justin Ross. I think Justin Ross will be a true jump ball guy. Yes, he's more of a, a, a smaller type nimble receiver, but he's really good at going up and getting that ball. I really think he can go up and get that ball. Um, so I'm interested to see Justin Ross. I, I really think he can obviously make the roster. I think he will make the roster, but make an impact on this roster. I think he'll be a really good red zone guy. And a lot of concern for Chiefs fans, and a lot of the things I'm hearing from NFL fans, um, as I go live and, you know, it it gets closer to the season, they're really trying to say the Chiefs don't have a number one. Uh, I think the Chiefs' number one will always be Kelsey, but you're always going to have these other guys that can make plays. You already have Patrick Mahomes, so that's where I'm not too worried about the wide receivers, but I just really wanted to talk about the wide receivers on this podcast today because it's so interesting to me seeing how some of these guys are meshing um, especially getting, again, a behind-the-scenes look with this franchise uh, series they do every year, seeing how some of these guys come along. Um, it's seeing where some of these guys stick out in training camp and where are they, some of these guys we I mean, they're not, they're not going to be top-heavy of how they were when they had Tyreek Hill. You had Tyreek Hill at the top, and, of course, you had Kelsey Boom. Those are two, you know, Hall of Famers. Most likely, you know, Tyreek Hill is to be determined, but you have two Pro Bowl 
all pro caliber guys. But now again, you don't have that all pro receiver, but you have a lot of guys who can get the job done. My only thing is how can these guys get the job done in big games this season? If you guys are looking for the best jerseys for the best prices, make sure you guys go check out Jaden's jerseys. We have all your favorite teams in NBA, NFL, MLB, and college football and basketball. Best prices and the best quality. So make sure you guys go check out all of our selections at Jaden Jerseys right now. Another thing I wanted to talk about real quick is kind of the dynamic of the running back position right now in Kansas City. Um, what's going to happen with the running back two position? Uh, I, most people may say, well, what do you mean, Jaden? It's probably just going to be Jarek McKinnon. Jarek McKinnon is more of your late season into playoff veteran receiving back. We know how well he can do receiving the ball and being a pass catcher on third down and blocking on third down. He did a tremendous job in the playoffs with his blocking schemes. But I'm more curious, who's going to be the kind of number two? Is it going to be Clyde? Um, I know I talked about it a little bit last time, but you're going to see a lot of Clyde versus Arizona this week. Uh, and Andy Reid kind of said that they're going to have the starters in there for the first half, which – I think in Andy Reid translation, that means two, maybe three drives. I highly doubt Andy Reid is going to have Patrick Mahomes and company out there for two whole quarters. Uh, maybe the first quarter you could see them out there, but I don't think you'll see the Kansas City Chiefs starters out there for a whole half. I, I just don't see that happening. If they do, things I would like to keep an eye out for is – Yes, yeah, showcasing Clyde Edwards, Elaire, but also getting Ross out there. I know the ones that's mostly going to be like Sky Moore, um, MVS, Richie James, those three guys at the receiver position. I want to see Justin Ross with Mahomes. I want to see what he can do. I want to see what he can do at the start. And I want to see what Richie Rice can do out there with Patrick Mahomes. Those are the two guys right there. I want to see what they can do out with Mahomes because those are kind of the future of the Chiefs. Those are the guys we want to see pin up. Sky Moore, Rice, and uh, Ross, those are the guys we want to see if they have a real connection with Mahomes. Those are the guys in the future you could see really be that uh, kind of like that Julian Edelman, Adam Dola type of guys, whatever it may be. Those are the three guys I want to kind of see out there um, catching the ball from Mahomes, not Blaine Gabbert. Not um, Ola Dokin or uh, Shane Bouchelle, none of those guys. I want to see them out there with the big boys um, who can do that. Um, Nico Ramigio, um, if I'm saying his name right, um, I want to see him too. He looked very good. There's really like eight guys on this roster that could make the, there are eight receivers on this roster that could make the team. Um, I would like to see a little bit more of. Justin Watson. He was a guy I did like last year. Um, I don't know if he'll make the team this year, though. I really don't know if he'll make this team this year because you got Kadarius Tony, a guy who, yeah, he's not going to be playing in the preseason. But he, that he's rumored to be back week one. So you still have Kadarius Tony. You have MVS. You have Richie James. You have Sky Moore. You have Rice. You have Ross. Uh, then Watson. Are they going to keep seven or are they going to keep six? Because let's remember. Um, earlier this week, they put uh, Jody Fortson on IR. So then it comes down to, is Matt Bushman now in play to replace Fordson? Is it going to be Noah Gray, Matt Bushman, Travis Kelsey, Blake Bell kind of as that fullback slash tight end? Um, so that's the thing to look at. Do they keep four tight ends or do they keep three tight ends and then seven receivers on the roster? Um, that's kind of where I'm looking at. And moving on to more of the, the third aspect I really want to talk about, because we talked about the running backs a little bit and who I want to showcase. I also would like to see generic Prince as well, going back to more of the running backs is they do. I do want to see what generic Prince can bring because who is going to be that second guy, third guy, is it going to be generic Prince? Cause that goes on again, Jody Ford's an injury. Like I just said, it goes on. Are they going to keep four running backs? I don't know if they keep four running backs on the 53-man roster, on the game day roster. 
are they going to have uh, another running back there where you have it, or is it generic Prince? Um, is it LaMichael P. Ryan? I don't know if any of those guys on the roster. I think they do maybe need to go get a Leonard Fournette or another veteran in there because, again, running backs on the Chiefs tend to get banged up just in the NFL as general. So I would like to see uh, and maybe another move at running back because of the Joey Ford uh, injury. Um, but, yeah, and Derek Prince, uh, is something I was just about to talk about, going into the special teams returners. You got basically a couple options this year. I know they even put Ross out there, but I don't think they're going to put Justin Ross out there, a guy who, again, had some back problems, foot problems, could get uh, banged up trying to be a returner. Um, I think he they need to keep him receiver. But that's the only thing with me. If you're if you're going to be the six or seven receiver, you have to be able to play special teams. If that's Rice, Ross, or Watson, those guys are gonna have to be able to play special teams. Uh, the the two guys I think that are in the league for a kick returner and punt returner. Obviously, you have Kadarius Tony and Richie James. I think right now those are the two leads. And then you can kind of look at some other guys if that's Ross, whoever it may be. But I think the two lead would be. Either Richie James or Kadarius Tony. If you do keep Deneric Prince, Deneric Prince is another option. But those are things in the preseason I really would like to see from Dave Tope. Put those guys out there to see if they can do it. Because our special teams last year was something that was just not very good. And historically, the Chiefs special teams have always been good. If you want to go back to even in the 90s with uh, uh, Van Over, if you want to go to Dante Hall, Dexter McCluster, they always had a guy uh, that could take it out. You even had uh, DeAnthony Thomas, Tyree Kill. So they've always had good special team units that could return the ball and put Patrick Mahomes in key situations. Luckily, Sky Moore this season, at the end of the season, when he dropped all those, those punts during the regular season, at the end of the season, he was able to sit there and put Patrick Mahomes in a, a key spot to go win the game versus the Bengals. So that's something that I think is going to be a big factor in this game versus Arizona is what can the special teams uh, unit do? Who are some of the guys that are going to rise to the top to see they're going to be that guy that can't see Chiefs on kick returner and punt returning. And we got to see what some of our gunners are going to be as well. We know Tommy Townsend's going to be a great punter. We know Harrison Bunker. Don't got to worry about those guys. Those guys are all just going to be there and be at one of the best at their position. So that's what I want to touch on on the special team side. Now you're going on the defense. I know a lot of you guys think I don't talk about the defense enough because I'm such an offensive oriented guy, but we're going to talk a little bit about the defense. A guy I wanted to see a little bit more of was uh, Felix Duque Uzama. This next game is him and Karloftis. Are they going to be that tandem? Uh, kind of like early on how I'm not comparing them to, but early on how that was like the Jared Allen and the Tomahaw Lee uh, days early in the, the early 2000s. But I would have kind of liked to see like those two guys at the end of each side kind of coming after the quarterback. We haven't had that kind of duo uh, in a long time, not since uh, Justin Houston and Tomahaw Lee. So it's been a while since we had like two caliber guys that could come off the end and really get to the quarterback. The Chris Jones thing, I'm going to get to that later. We're not going to talk about Chris Jones right now on the defense. We're just going to talk about some of the guys that are going to be in Arizona playing. Uh, I think Karloft is going to be a big part of the defense uh, this year. I think he can get to eight, nine sacks this season. I think Charles uh, Menehue losing him for the first six game is a big deal. You have to remember, the Kansas City Chiefs were second in sacks last year. 60 was the... Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs had 55 sacks. They had a very good year. That They're going to have to have that type of success again this year to help those young corners out again, developing them their second year. And I know everyone likes to say sophomore slump, sophomore slump. But I think these guys have played so much football, young as young players going all the way deep into the Super Bowl and having to start in the Super Bowl. I don't really think that's going to be a factor for them. So I really think this second year is important for the defensive line really getting after the quarterback. I think go, maybe going to go get Carlos Dunlap again um, as a veteran would be a good move for the Chiefs. I think they need to make that happen. Chris Jones will play for the Chiefs. Yeah, e even if he's not there week one, Chris Jones is going to play for the Kansas City Chiefs. He's already lost a lot of money sitting out of training camp. 
he would be dumb to miss out on almost $20 million this entire season. So I don't think he's going to hold out for the entire season. The contract is how long is he going to be on the Kansas City Chiefs? Because he could play this year and he could even play next year as on a franchise tag. But how long is Chris Jones going to be on the Chiefs? I know for a fact he will play for the Kansas City Chiefs this year. I, I, I think it's very unlikely that he gets traded. Uh, but he's a big part of this defense. Um, they need Chris Jones. He was a big part of the 55 sacks. This year. They went from one of the worst teams the year before to one of the best teams because of Chris Jones. Um, so Chris Jones is a big part of this defense. But I think a guy to look out for is Felix Ibuke Uzama to see what he does uh, kind of in the preseason. Can he be that guy to get even have like a Karloftis type rookie season, three to four sacks, a good amount of pressures, um, getting to the running backs when they break through the line. Uh, so he's a guy I would look out for. And some of these corners, look at the secondary to see. Remember last time we had Joshua Williams, we had Jalen Watson. We had a lot of these guys come on here and play at such a high level as rookies. We could see another rookie come onto the squad as a cornerback and play at a high level. There are some other defensive linemen that the Chiefs drafted um, that I would like to see out there too. But let me know in the comment section below, guys, who you guys want to see uh, in this upcoming game versus Arizona and uh, how much of the starters you would like to see. Comment that below. Make sure you guys go check out all of our other stuff. Make sure you guys go listen to us as well on Spotify. We're on Spotify. Go leave us a review on Spotify. Um, we're going to have some more guests come along this uh, offseason. Uh, technically, it's not the offseason more. This preseason going into the regular season and talk Chiefs football and talk NFL. Make sure you guys also comment below some of the other teams you guys would like me to highlight and talk about um, this season. Because we're going to get more into the the – wide range of the NFL and what some of these teams are going to bring this season. So make sure you guys go check us out on Spotify at TPT uh, podcast. Make sure you go check us out on TikTok at Jaden M Lawler four. If you go on TikTok, you'll see us right there or Jaden's jerseys on TikTok. Make sure you guys go check out Jaden's jerseys. If you guys want awesome gear, like behind me, awesome t-shirts like this, we don't just have NFL stuff, but we have a wide, variety of stuff so make sure you guys go check out Jaden's jerseys on instagram it's just Jaden's underscore jerseys we got a lot of options for this upcoming nfl season so make sure you guys go check us out on there if you guys aren't listening on spotify make sure you check us out on youtube we're here every friday we're here every wednesday and we're here every monday so make sure you guys go check us out all week long here at the tpt podcast we will see you guys next time on the tpt podcast